good enough. Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Alec and this is a place where I get to relieve myself in front of all of you. Creatively speaking, that is. Okay, I've got just a quick video for you. I realized with the iPad SD card video that there are a lot of things that Apple does that they don't communicate very well with us, so to speak. Sometimes I'll start a sentence and I don't even know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way. Like an improv conversation. An improvisation. AKA none of us know what the hell's going on. And so we turn to the internet. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here to be your internet guru of Apple bullshit and how to make your shit work. So today I want to talk about something super simple. Just another super quick video. This one is something that we've all experienced before. I'm sure it's super pervasive. Just... Based on my anecdotal experiences, I see it absolutely everywhere, and I'm sure you probably do too. That is people pulling their phone out, and it looks like this. You know, you're on the bus, and you pull your phone out, and you're typing up a text message, and the dude across from you is literally being blinded because your flashlight is on full blast as soon as you take your phone out of your pocket, and you're not really sure why that's happening. Well, today I'm going to show you why that's happening and how you can stop that from happening. So... Let's do it. Okay, so to understand why this is happening, we have to take just a quick dive back in time to the iPhone 10. Now, on the iPhone 10, there was this really cool feature that Apple introduced called capacitive touch. What that means is that your iPhone was able to determine not only for how long and where you're pressing on your phone's touchscreen, but also how much pressure you're using when you're pressing on that touch screen. And that allowed them to add these really cool icons to the bottom of your phone screen that do different things. Now, initially, these little buttons, these little anchor buttons at the bottom of the lock screen were capacitive touch buttons. And what that meant is they would only respond if you touched on them a little bit harder than you'd typically press on your phone screen. Now, the problem with what Apple did with capacitive touch is that they didn't do anything with it. They just got rid of it. So now their phones don't have capacitive touch anymore. And people have made all sorts of different claims as to why that is. Maybe it made the phone too thick. Maybe the capacitive touch made the screens too flimsy or, or break too often. But whatever the case is, what that means for us is that every damn time we take our phones out of our pockets, the flashlight is on. Why is that? Because now, instead of capacitive touch, these anchor buttons, which everyone got used to, and so, of course, they had to stay a feature, even though the primary part of the feature doesn't exist anymore. Either way, they had to stay a feature. And so now, what Apple does is they just make you press on it for a certain amount of time. After a certain amount of time, light turns on. It doesn't know that you pressed harder or softer. It just knows, hey, dude's pressing. So, here's a flashlight. I think we all see where this is going, right? Capacitive touch, thigh doesn't turn on flashlight, finger does turn on flashlight. No capacitive touch, finger turns on flashlight, thigh also turns on flashlight. So, what can you do about this? Well, you can always just point your screen out, right? When you put it in your pocket, make a conscious effort to point your screen out. This is also a risky move, right? You trip, you fall, you land on something weird, your thigh hits the corner of a table, guess what's happening to that phone? Not a good day for that phone, I tell you that much. So if that doesn't work, what are our other options? Well, you really only have one, and that is to disable raise to wake and tap to wake, and by doing that, you will no longer have problems with your phone waking up in your pocket, so with the screen never being on in your pocket, the flashlight won't turn on. That's not entirely true. It could still happen because the physical button could be pressed inside your pocket, therefore turning the screen on, which therefore would expose the flashlight button, which may then be pressed by your thigh. But generally speaking, this eliminates most of the issue that people have been having with the flashlight turning on in their pockets. So you go into your settings really quick, and we're going to do two things. First thing we're going to do, and I'm lazy, so I search at the top. I search for tap to wake. Boom, accessibility, tap to wake, turn that off. Now we're gonna go back because I like searching for things. 
We're going to go raise to wake. We're going to go in there and we're going to turn that off. Once both those things are off, you are good to go. Lock your phone and try tapping it. Try lifting it up. It does not turn on. This time you're going to have to press your button to turn your phone on. So this is a give and a take, right? We're conceding the convenience of these features so that our damn flashlight stays off when our phone is in our pocket. You choose. Apple's made you choose, so you choose whatever you'd like and go for it. If this worked for you or you found this video interesting without having this problem somehow, leave a like. Leave me what you think down in the comment section down below. If you have any better ideas, definitely leave them down there because I am way willing to hear out what you guys have to say. Typically, you have better ideas than I do. And uh, make sure to subscribe for more content like this coming I don't know, irregularly, but hopefully fairly often, often enough to keep you around, something like that. Anyways, have a great day, guys. See you on the next one.